Hello everyone and welcome back to HUD Bricks. Today is the LEGO February 2021 city update. I have done a whole heck of a lot of stuff in the city since the last time I checked in with you guys. I'm really excited to show you it all so let's get into this. So the first thing I want to show you guys is I've actually put all these modular buildings here in their proper places where they're finally going to go in the city. I've placed all the sidewalk along with all the minifigures so let's take a look at those from the storefront as well. So first up, you can see right here that this guy is proposing to his soon-to-be fiance. You can see that he has his ring. She looks super surprised and happy, and he's kneeling. You can also see somebody eating back there. You can see a little waiter coming down the stairs. You can also see I've added several people back there eating food. But I really like how it turned out with all the minifigures from this set. The next modular building we have here is the Palace Cinema. You can see that we've got a child actress walking up with the red carpet, and you can see several people standing on the side with the paparazzi and her limo out front. Now we've also got the detective's office. You can see that we've got the pool hall. We've got Ace Brickman down there solving a case with a little bit of a clue on the sidewalk. You can also see we've got a police officer standing on the bench going into our next um, modular building which is, of course, the police station. And yes, this is my own custom mock, and I will put a link in the description below, but I think it turned out so very well with the rest of these um, modular buildings. But you can see we've got a police officer standing down there, just the garages, and I also put the car or the SUV right there. You could have it pulling out, and I love how perfectly it lined up with the street. And we've also got right here, the brick bank. You can see I used all the minifigures here with them walking on the sidewalk. You can see that this mom is taking a picture of her child who just got an award. And you can even see somebody hanging out of the window up there. And I added this kind of poster for the police station. So you can see next up we have the fire station and this is going to go right here. You can see that we've got all of the fire department outside and I really like those custom minifigures. You can also see that this guy has an American flag that will hang outside of the fire department. You can also see that we have a fire truck back there which is actually my own custom mock which I will get a video up of on the channel shortly so stay tuned for that. Also, I'm really excited for this. It's going to be much like the police station. I'm going to have two garages and it's going to lead out to the street. I'm really excited for that, so stay tuned for the fire station. And the rest of the modular buildings, you can see I've not finished the sidewalk. And these ones I haven't refurbished yet because, of course, they are kind of beaten up. But you may be thinking, what the heck is that big gaping hole? And actually, that is something that I am so extremely excited for. And it is my own custom skyscraper. It's going to be right there. I don't want to make it too tall to where it dwarfs the rest of the buildings. But it's going to be decently tall up there. And I'm really excited for that. And another thing I wanted to show you is I actually tiled off the rest of the runway going out to the street on the corner garage. And originally I was actually going to have to get the corner garage out of the city and not use it at all. But I found out with a good solution, you could actually put it right here next to the roller coaster or the ferris wheel, sorry. You can actually put it there and it runs perfectly. There's a little indent on the back and they can actually just go around between it, which is really nice. And you can also see that I've started spreading the cars throughout the city. But I think that's about it for the main level. Let's go ahead and get on to the storefront. So this is actually one of the coolest things I have ever done in the city, and that is putting lights down there in the storefront. And yes, those are Christmas lights. It took a while to hang those. First we tried duct tape, and it unfortunately didn't work, and it just kind of peeled off. So next up, we actually used little clips that you can use to hang the lights, and it worked perfectly. And now you can see the lights are hanging from the roof to give that nice look inside the storefront. And now you can see that it lights up all of the interiors. And yes, the train does still run with the lights back there. It runs perfectly, actually, and I'm really excited about that. Now, my city has had a big problem for a really long time. There's been a stair rail on the right side of the city, and it looks really nice, and I like all the posters. But on the left side, there's never been a stairwell, so I finally decided to add one. 
So here it is. I had to use a ton of gray bricks on this, but you can see we've got some ivy running down there, somebody walking down, and it was kind of a hassle because I had to make just a few stairs right here and a ton of stairs down there to actually make it work. But in the end, it turned out really nicely. And you can also see I've added a facade there for a little brown building with some windows. But yes, I have started on the storefront buildings, and oh my goodness, they have turned out so incredibly well so far. So first up, we've got the ice cream parlor, and yes, I will get individual reviews of these out on the channel, where I review them in my set, but you can see it fits perfectly there and all the lights coming down upon it. But one of my favorite storefronts is probably going to be this church. And I actually completely modeled this off of the church that I actually attend. And it looks so much like it. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description below. But I even was able to print out their logo and stick it right there. And I absolutely love that brick detailing. And once again, I will get a review of this out on the channel. But I really like how it looks here with all of the lights coming in. You can even see some of the congregation sitting in there for the service. Some of you guys may be thinking, I thought that you destroyed your train station. Yes, I actually did, and then I rebuilt it. This time I made it smaller, because the last time it was way too big, and it did not need that much room. So here it is from a minifig eye view. You guys absolutely love that map right there, showing when they're going and what the departure time is. You can also see that over here, we have a couple of benches where they can wait for the train, get off, and then head off to wherever they're going, along with some clocks so that they can check what time their departure is, and then look at the clock and see what time they have to leave. You could also see we've got a globe up here because it is the logo of the globe train station, which is the name of this, and I really like how it looks with all the lights inside and I also love that kind of iconic skylight for this train station and as I keep moving there I've made a ton of huge changes over on the very far right side of the city which is including there was no way to get over here I had to move this little sidewalk and actually bump it out to where there could actually be a sidewalk where they can come down the stairs and come over here to the museum Speaking of which, I absolutely love how this little Lego museum turned out. You can see that I definitely based this off of the Lego museum break-in set. I really like how I was able to extend that red carpet there, and I like how you come down here and you can see the museum and get that kind of VIP treatment. But one of my favorite parts of it is... When you're down here at minifigure eye level, it looks like the lights are shining up from the displays to shine on all of the little artifacts, which has such a cool effect. Plus, you have that really nice clock popping up from the bottom. Now over here is a section of the city that is still very much under construction, and this is the skate park, and I'll leave a link in the description below for my review of this LEGO skate park set, but you can see we've got all the minifigures from it here, we've got some of the ramps, and you can even see I integrated the graffiti there. And oh my goodness, I absolutely love how that graffiti looks with the shark riding a skateboard. In the original set, it was just something to grind on, but now it looks so good as graffiti just on the wall. But I'm not going to say a whole lot about this now because it's still obviously under construction and I'll talk more about it in my next LEGO City update for March. And you can also see I haven't finished the wall back here. This isn't connected. This right here is railing so the skaters don't go off into the railroad track, but I absolutely love how these Vita Rush signs turned out here for the flags going in between the railroad track for some extra branding. But I think that this integrates so well with the nice color and pop of the skate park, and you've also got the stairs leading up into the carnival. I don't really like how it's in the skate park. I might have to do something about that, but that's how it's going to be for now. You can see I've added this really nice palm tree up here to kind of go into the carnival. And the carnival's kind of beachy theme. I haven't done much over here, but I absolutely love how I integrated that roller coaster, and I'm really excited for some new plans with this. But now that I have all of my parts organized, I can do everything I want in my LEGO City. I'm really excited for more storefronts, so stay tuned for that, and I'm really excited for all of the plans coming for the city. 
But I think that about wraps this up. If you don't want to miss out on any of my other content or any of my future LEGO City updates for all of the great things happening here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future LEGO City updates along with hit the like button if you went on to enjoy this because I really would appreciate it and it really does help the channel. Also, leave a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys and hear your input on what I should do in my city. So leave a comment down below, give me ideas, give me insight, I would love it and I would really appreciate it. But I think that about wraps this up. See you next time on HUD Bricks and I'm really excited to keep building on my LEGO City Brick and Ridge.